RDL, a Roman deadlift. So what we're gonna do here is not a deadlift for weight, or we're not trying to really get any strength aspect out of this. This is really a drill that I utilize more on my second day when my athletes are sore, or for teaching younger athletes really how to unhinge their hip. So we talk about unhinging our hip a lot, right? And there's four different ways of that pyramid I like to talk about that we can go. You can go to the right, go to the left, you unhinge back and unhinge forward. And so, and really there's not much of a hinge there, but understand that there's four, four sides of that pyramid. So the hardest one that I find for athletes to understand and learn is really unhinging backwards. And this is important for just fundamental movements, not only in the weight room, but as an athlete. So I like to start and teach this drill with my young athletes so they understand it, but also I utilize it on the second day as really, okay, we did a lot of sprinting, we got some tight hamstrings, you know, just getting a good hamstring stretch that may incorporate a little bit of weight really as a counterweight. Um, and again, the fundamental of the movement. So what I'm gonna do is I take my 25 pound weight. So I don't need this right away, but what I use it for is a counterweight and understand that it, as I hold it farther out, I'm counterweighting the movement I go back. So I just start my athletes understanding that they need to be basically just standing square, toes pointed forward. And the first move we're trying to do is say strong with their core. So we don't want them going in lordosis here and arching their back. We just want a neutral pelvis strong with their core. Then number two is getting them to think, okay, if there's a rod for through my hip, right? So on both sides, my hips got to move together. I want to try and push that rod back. So a lot of times what they'll do is they'll go like this and they push their rod back but they just kind of bend over. I don't want to bend over in this drill. I'm going to get a lot of pressure on that low back. I want to learn to unhinge my hips backwards and push those backwards. So I keep my weight, my hands out in front and you'll notice I already did it by habit. But if I start neutral and I put my arms out in front, there's the movement I got to get first. And then I keep pushing my hips back. I should be able to wiggle my toes. My weight's through my feet, but it's not on my toes. And then I just push that weight back, back, back. And I keep my chest up. So I'm not bending like this. Everyone wants to show how flexible they are and they can touch their toes and everything, but they don't unhinge the hips. And then we go into flexion of the back, which we all know isn't the greatest thing. So as I get in that position, you already see I'm unhinging the hips. My abs are tight. I go back, back, back. And this is as far as I go. So yeah, if I bent over, I can touch my toes, but this is as far as I go with this drill, trying to stay strong here, unhinge, and then come back up and just get a good rhythm not, so, so it's yes to help stretch those hamstrings, wake us up, get us ready for that workout, but two, just learning the fundamentals of moving. This is the center of our body. Everything is moving off of this. So we want to be mobile. We want to be efficient. We want to understand every way that it should move because we don't know as an athlete what we need to be prepared for. So real simple drill. You don't even need a weight, but it's great to add that counterweight as you go. You can do it with a barbell. You can do it with dumbbells, whatever you got. But again, it's, you're not thinking in your head, oh, this is a, I'm trying to do three, 400 pounds, you know, like a typical deadlift. This is just a, a get ready for your workout, learn to unhinge the hips and go with the mechanics.